Okay, so uh, we we'll go back to the uh, 515 in our, in our next video, but uh, before we do that, um, I just want to show you this uh, 315 here, not 315, 310. Um, this is one of the ones that arrived to me broken with the uh, motor sheared off. I'm going to get the small one. So I didn't record this on camera because it would be the most boring video uh, ever known to man. Uh, I'm not saying these videos aren't boring in general, um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, yeah they are, they're pretty boring if you're not interested in the context, I suppose. But if you're interested in the context, uh, it's probably good to, to, to watch. Uh, somebody repairing old technology. Now, right, so what I did was, I'm going to zoom in here and show you. Um, I'll have that loose, and that's good. Ooh. Ew, 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 ew. Be nice, be gentle, be gentle. Now, we'll zoom in there if you... Here we go, you ready? Whoa. Get down a bit. In again. And down a bit. And in again. Let's see now if we can get, at the, get back at the focus. We can. Tighten it up. Now, so you can see there's the cable. And below is another cable. So what I did was I actually... The motor had sheared off totally and there was just two cables on the plastic sticking out of it which was good and um, because our other laser assembly which I've now misplaced from our 515 if I can find it, I don't know where I put it I should really put these things in the one pile, that's really what I should do um, instead of hiding them myself you know but uh, ah hold on it's in my other pile here, yep so basically uh, put this one on top of it now, basically, you can see on this one here, the, there's nothing coming out. Okay, now, like I said in another video, I might just try and fix this. But uh, as it stands, I, I don't think I stood a chance. There's a piece of the, the, the basically, the, the plastic with the two copper wires, and it's still sticking out to about here. So what I did was I basically heated it, melted it, and the two copper wires are then exposed. I then basically heated the soldering slash soldering iron up, and I tinned the end of the copper wire. That was sticking out, and I tinned the end of the copper wire on this side that was sticking out, and then I uh, got the two pieces together and heated them up and heat presto joined them up. And lo and behold, the laser works. Now, one of the things that's actually happening is it's playing back, it gets an error and then gets a little crosstalk. Now, I have a funny feeling that there may be interference from the bare exposed wire with the back of the motor, uh, and the same over here. So, uh, I will actually uh, cover that up with something before I turn it on the next time. And simply because, um, simply because, uh, with the well, like I said, it could be interfering, but it could be causing power to cross over. Um, I've noticed that you get the cross click on the picture, uh, but if I actually jump it forward a track, it'll be perfectly clear again. So I have a funny feeling there's a, there's an issue there. But even that, like the laser assembly was broken, sure. What was it going to do? Um, the M holder in this one is the new upgraded uh, black M holder. Um, it's a hell of a lot. Uh, it's a hell of a lot better than the old grey style, and uh, very hard to come by. Um, I have I I came across two of them because I bought laser assemblies, and the laser assemblies were 150 euro each, which didn't work. Um, neither of them. Um, but luckily enough, I managed to salvage uh, this part out of it, uh, which at least is something. But uh, that's a, a story for another day, as they say. So anyway, this machine is actually playing back discs again with this laser assembly. Uh, installed it, so at least that's something. So uh, yeah, there's your there's your quick five minute follow up on the uh, CLD three one on. So uh, yeah, it's working, and there we are. The the last video I did on the three one zero, and that other machine is working with a laser installed. As I said, the only problem with it was left was the bad laser. So it's now working fine. So that's that's that. And um, so what we're going to do is we're going to continue on with the five one five series, and uh, I'll be back in just a moment.